Hi, I'm uh, Karthikeyan, basically a mechanical engineer from uh, RC uh, with 11 years of experience in uh, procurement, logistics uh, and, and, and also marketing uh, the IT products. Uh, uh, my involvement uh, with, with Six Sigma project started uh, uh, four years before when I was working with Tata Steel. Uh, at that time I was uh, part of the uh, green belt uh, uh, six sigma project team uh, you know as as a as a stakeholder from the process area so uh, my involvement uh, with that particular project was restricted uh, to to providing uh, the process inputs uh, and also the process knowledge to the process data inputs and the process knowledge to the green belt and uh, black belts uh, later on uh, I did my uh, executive MBA from IIM Indo. Uh, I've initiated one of the one of one project in my uh, uh, section uh, to improve the uh, you know purchase order cycle time. Uh, 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 you know uh, to reduce the cycle time uh, in the purchase ordering uh, process. Uh, uh, that project had really given me a exposure uh, in terms of all the phases and then a six sigma project. Uh, not only in terms of applying the techniques, but also uh, in terms of uh, you know, explain how to resolve the resistance from the uh, other other team members, and also how to get the buy-in from uh, the senior people. Uh, after that, uh, uh, to refresh my uh, six sigma knowledge, I had gone through uh, Greenfield certification uh, uh, four months before. Uh, after that, I am actively uh, uh, trying to see the opportunities to apply uh, uh, techniques uh, which I have learned uh, from uh, Greenfield program. Uh, in my current role, uh, I am taking care of uh, the pre-sales activities. Uh, in marketing the IT products, IT uh, products, especially for uh, uh, supply chain uh, areas, uh, and also I take care of uh, consulting uh, activities as part of implementing the uh, you know the solution uh, in, in the client premises. Uh, I would like to discuss uh, two uh, cases where where you know I could uh, 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 apply some of the techniques uh, effectively and uh, to meet the client expectation. Uh, case one is uh, about. Uh, 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 about you know applying the hypothesis test and identifying the critical access. Uh, uh, basically, we had given a uh, forecasting application to the client. Uh, that that particular forecasting application uh, works based on uh, artificial neural network. So artificial neural network uh, requires uh, three inputs. One is the past sales data. The other is uh, the factors which is affecting the sales. The past data of the factors which is affecting the sales. And the third one is the future outlook of these factors. You know, if, if it is promotion, uh, how it is going to be, whether for this product, this promotion is going to be effective or not, uh, if, whether the competitor uh, product launch was there or not, whether uh, was there any festive season. So all these factors uh, will have to say whether it was present or not. Uh, and also, uh, you know, how the inventory was behaving with respect to sales. So uh, the client had uh, more than 20 factors uh, which could affect sales, uh, but the problem was uh, they were they were using all all the 20 factors uh, respective of the scenarios uh, what was happening was uh, if you take a particular scenario then all the 20 factors were not significant only you know five to eight six factors were significant so with the hypothesis testing using a one way ANOVA test uh, we, we were able to and under regression analysis we were able to identify uh, uh, the key uh, the vital access uh, for the given scenario so so for the for all the scenarios uh, the critical uh, factors were uh, you know, from varying from five to eight. So then we when we took all these factors and and ran the forecasting appli uh, forecasting application, then the accuracy had really uh, gone up uh, by thirty percent. Uh, in terms of business sense, how it has affected the client, uh, it has really uh, reduced the lost sale opportunity. What had happened was since the forecasting was not proper, they were not able to position the right inventory at right point of time. So, because of that, uh, some of the sales that could have happened, uh, they, they couldn't you know, replace that, they couldn't realize that. So, with respect to the financial, uh, the value was, you know, per month, it was a 6 lakhs increase in revenue. Uh, so, that's the kind of uh, benefit that they could they, they, uh, could get it. So, this, uh, you know, the, the applying the particular technique uh, with respect to this situation was really appreciated by the client as well. Uh, now, we are also trying to, you know, uh, enrich our application uh, uh, which can uh, you know if you, if you give 20 factors the application uh, we are trying to improve the algorithm so that you know uh, it could uh, as as many tap does the application also can uh, identify the critical access given the scenario uh, this is about the case one uh, if you move to case two it had uh, uh, 
it's about uh, using the control charts in a reporting application. Uh, we had given a distribution applica distribution management application and reporting application uh, for FMCG client. Uh, the distribution application collects the secondary sales data. Secondary sales means which is happening from the distributors uh, to the retail outlets and, and also the tertiary, tertiary sales which is happening from the retail outlets to the end consumers. So all these data are coming through uh, this application and sales team used to look at this data. So before our application, before the re reporting application, they used to generate a lot of reports. Uh, there used to be a separate MIS team. Uh, based on the reports, they used to infer, uh, okay, what is happening with respect to sales, what is happening with respect to inventory. So based on the inference, they used to take action. So this cycle, generating reports and inferring from the reports was taking a lot of time. So the objective of this uh, reporting application was to reduce uh, that cycle time and, and you know, kind of uh, sales team should I take real time uh, proactive action. So that was the objective. So the head of the sales wanted to put in uh, controls so that whenever uh, any, any particular parameter goes out of the limit, uh, the sales team should be able to signal it uh, quite faster and uh, able to take uh, appropriate action. So what we did is as part of the application, uh, reporting application, uh, uh, whenever any sales executive gets into this application, he, he will see the dashboard. Uh, dashboard is mainly of control charts. Uh, uh, we, we have used uh, predominantly uh, you know the uh, IMR chart, X bar R, X bar S charts. Uh, what we have done is we have classified all the parameters with respect to the data type, whether it is uh, discrete, uh, continuous, uh, whether it was defect or defective, or or it's it's a continuous data. M most of the time, the Y uh, you know data is continuous data. So after doing all these things, we were able to put right control chart for the for the right application. Uh, uh, right, you know, if we combine two uh, parameters, uh, you know, by by considering the data type, okay, this is the uh, control chart to be used. So whenever uh, the sales team, uh, you know, gets into the application and see the dash, uh, work, I mean, the dashboards, they're able to see. Uh, I mean, they don't need to study the data. Just by seeing the control chart, they're able to infer uh, which what is going wrong. So so they were able to take action. Uh, just by seeing the graph. So that has really given a lot of value uh, uh, to the client. Uh, we have taken this uh, uh, this exercise uh, uh, in the last one month. Uh, we are still going through a lot of iteration whether uh, you know, it should be represented in this way. Uh, most of the control charts uh, does have uh, this is specification limits uh, imposed on the control chart. So that gives, uh, uh, you know, apart from the process, whether, whether they are able to meet the uh, you know the expectation uh, from the from the top management with respect to keeping the inventory uh, at, the, at the required level, meeting the sales target as defined uh, uh, from the from the business uh, uh, planning. So so they are able to uh, do the analysis. They they can come out. They can do away with the analysis and and get into the action directly. So this case uh, had had uh, really brought about a lot of improvement in their uh, uh, you know they are improving the sales performance. So this is about case two. Um, I'm uh, really excited uh, to get to look for opportunities where where we can uh, apply these techniques, uh, you know, so that so that they improve the process for the client and and provide benefits. Thanks.